So there's actually this really annoying quest in the game that requires you to do a bunch of gardening without directly telling you where you can end up getting the seeds for the gardening. The funny thing is that if we end up looking at Hogsmeade, this is what the map defaults to, and it turns out that the shop that we're looking for that sells the seeds is right up here just behind the world map icon. The quest is very, very vague because all it says is the name of the shop. It doesn't say that it's in Hogsmeade or anything. So I don't have any of the seeds because I already bought them. In order to complete the quest, you could just buy the plants outright though. Now, the funny thing is that there's actually a very similar quest that comes a little bit later where you need to get flux seeds. And those are actually sold here at Magic Neep. So for the time being, you can end up just going into the gardening section, the greenhouse, and just right down here, you'll be able to end up planting your seeds and they are going to end up being on a real life timer that will end up renewing over and over and over again. Essentially, if you have a seed, it gives you infinite of that resource. The problem is that we can only plant these four seeds in a small planter and we need to have a bigger planter in order to end up planting all of these additional seeds. Once again, the game in no way, shape, or form references where you end up actually getting the bigger pot, at least in your quest icons. So funny enough, it's actually the Tomes and Scrolls shop that will end up selling you the larger pottery because what this guy's going to do is he's going to end up selling you Hello, recipes in. in order to craft Rings things to for at. your own personal room. So I don't want to spoil too much in terms of the story or progression, but the Room of Requirement eventually shows up and allows you to completely customize everything about it. And once you end up buying the recipes then you can finally start putting these down which are the large pots so we can finally end up dealing with all the extra gardening the funny thing is that this was the only quest in the game that gave me no direction within the quest icons themselves as far as i know during the quest line one of the npcs did end up telling us oh you can probably go and find this in hogsmeade and stuff but i ended up getting very distracted by all of the many many other things that there are to explore in this game and by the time i ended up coming back to this quest line i'd completely forgotten that they just mentioned this in passing and the game itself instructed me in no way shape or form of how to actually progress the quest 